Today we're going to multiply by a two-digit number. My first example is 13 times 24. We're going to be using a couple of strategies today. We're going to learn the standard method. We're also going to use the distributive property, which we learned in our past lesson. And at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you another strategy where you can break it apart even more. So for now, we're going to use what we learned in our past lesson. Let's break apart one of our two numbers. So I use the distributive property to break apart 24 into 20 and 4. And the 13 I left alone. When doing a multiplication problem in standard method, we start with our 1's on our bottom number, and we multiply that times the number at the top, which we've done in our first couple of lessons. So with our model, we also do the same thing. We have that 13 times the 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4, plus our extra 1 makes 5. We do the same exact thing in standard method. So we kind of pretend like that 2 in our 24 is gone. We just do the underlying parts in yellow. 13 times the 4. So 3 times 4, again, is 12. And 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Then we multiply our 10s. So that 2, which is really a 20, times 13, which is the same thing we did with our model. That 13 times the 20. So when we have a 0 in the 1's and we multiply the 0 times the 13, we have 0. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. So we get 260. We do the same thing when we're using standard method. So now we're multiplying the orange parts. So that 2 is really a 20, because it's in the tens place. So we always need to remember that we're going to have a 0 right here, and then we can multiply the other numbers by our 10. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 1 is 2. So we get 260, just like our model. Then our next step is we need to add those together. So we can add them together over here on the left. They're already stacked nice for us. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 5 plus 6 is 11. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So our answer is 312. Here's my second example. 36 times 58. I'm going to use a model to help me. So I broke apart my 58 into 50 and 8. We multiply our 1's first. So the 8 times the 36. I'm going to do that on my model. 36 times 8. 6 times 8 is 48. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 4 is 28. If I do the standard method, same thing. 6 times 8 is 48. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 4 is 28. Next, we multiply our 10s, just like with our model. 36 times 50, because that 5 is in the tens place, so that's 50. 0 times 36 is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. If we're doing the standard method, we always have our 0 right there first. Then 5 times 6 is 30. Notice, I already had a 4 above there. That I already added in when I was doing my ones. That's in yellow. So one of the biggest mistakes I see 
when people are doing this is they forget to cross that other one out after they've added it in. So being in different colors kind of helps as well. So 5 times 6 was 30, so I put the 3 up there and my 0 down below. Then I multiply the 5 times the 3, which is 15, plus the 3 makes it 18. So the two really important things you want to remember are adding that 0 when you're doing the tens and making sure you don't add something in twice from up above if you've already used it. So now we need to add these. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So we get 2,088. I'm going to do one more example, just standard without the model. And then we'll give you a couple to try. So we start with our 1s. 9 times 7 is 63. Then 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6 is 34. Now we move on to our 10s. And I'm going to cross that number up above so I remember that I've already added that in. You always want to remember to put a 0 here because that 1's really a 10. Then 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 4 is 4. Add these together. We get 3, 13, and 8. So 833. Here is your first practice problem. 32 times 14. You need to multiply this if you'd like to draw a model to help you, you can. Go ahead and pause. We start with our 1's. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Move on to our 10's. Put our 0 there. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Add them together. And we get 448. Practice problem number two, 64 times 35. Go ahead and pause. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. Now we move on to our 10s. Make sure we cross that one out and don't use it again. Put our 0 down. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Now add those together, and we get 2,240. Okay, here are your two problems. 37 times 52, and 81 times 46. After these two problems, I do have another strategy. Since this was already a little bit long, I'll make it optional. But it is a strategy that can definitely help you check your work. So go ahead and pause for these problems, and there is a little bit more to watch. Okay, another strategy you can use is instead of breaking apart just one number, we can break apart both of our two-digit numbers. So our 23 we can break apart as 20 and 3 and our 15 we can break apart as 10 and 5. So this gives us four problems we have to do instead of two but all four are super easy. So we for each box we multiply the number to the left of it and above it. So for this first box the number to the left is 20 the number above is 10. 20 times 10 is 200. Then for our next box to the right, the number above it is 5. The number to the left is 20. So 20 times 5 is 100. The 
in our bottom left box. The number above it is 10. The number to the left is 3. We multiply those. 3 times 10 is 30. And then for our last box, the number above it is 5. The number to the left is 3. So 3 times 5 is 15. So all four of those problems were super quick and easy. Now we have four numbers we need to add together instead of two. So my top two numbers are 200 plus 100 makes 300. Then I have 30 plus 15, which is 45. So if I have 300 plus 45, we have 345. So I really like this strategy. It really makes it easy. I'll show you one more example of it. 75 times 38. I'm going to break apart both numbers. 75, 38. So we multiply 70 times 30. 7 times 3 is 21, with two zeros. So 2,100. 70 times 8. So 7 times 8 is 56, with one zero. And 5 times 30. 5 times 3 is 15, with one zero. So 150. And then 5 times 8, which is 40. This time I think the easier way to add them would be um, from the top to the bottom. So 560 plus 40 is 600. 2,100 plus 150 is 2,250. And I'm going to add these other two together. This gives me 2,850. So there you go. I know it was a lot. But hopefully this will help you be able to solve these problems a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. And you can use this method to help check your work. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day.